viewers, welcome to the third episode of the Your Time Show. I am Fatima Jawara and I have my handsome gentleman with me in the studio. Hello viewers, welcome back to another episode of Your Time Show. Um, uh, just to remind you, Your Time Show is here to unveil the talents we have within the art of literature. You know, um, in our previous episodes, we have um, poets and poetess. Today, we decided to change the reading. Today, we have an actor here, and then um, I am sure we are going to have a very interactive session with him. Thank you. Okay, and I'll allow the gentleman in house to introduce himself. Um, thank you all. Thank you, Fatima, and thank you, Ibrahim, for having me here today. Um, my name is Lamin Bibara. Yes, for now, that's where I'm going to stop and wait for your questions. <laughs> thank you for having me here. Yeah, that's interesting. Thank you. Okay, um, uh, I'll allow Ibrahim to start with him. Yes, um, um, Mr. Bara, you know I knew you as a teacher, right? Yeah. But all of a sudden I see you in the movie industry. Can you explain why? How does that come about? Um, thank you very much. Um, like you said, you knew me as a teacher uh, or you even knew me uh, as a student because I, as far as I can remember, we first met at the Gambia College. And at the Gambia College, I study what is called uh, visual arts. And uh, under visual arts, that's where performing arts also come to play. Um, but before then, I had a passion for acting. Long since I was in uh, senior school, I used to participate in the uh, press clubs, news, and also drama competitions. Well, while I was in senior school, I was, I was a very passionate to be in the acting act field. So um, sometime in 2017, that was uh, immediately when I graduated from the college, I came to meet somebody, uh, Modla Minso. Um, currently, he's the director and the CEO of Young Stars Movie Production. So we were friends on Facebook first before we meet, and uh, I saw some Gambian movies. I was like, wow, then this person is into acting. So I built interest in his movies. He called me to his house to give me some of his movies that uh, he have acted in and I watched them. Then I think he also saw me as somebody who liked game, like to be in the acting. Then he sent me a message that he is working on the movie and he would like, like, he would like me to be part of the movie. You know, I was like, how, will I, how am I going to do that first time to go in front of a camera to say something that I don't know whether you mean it or not, but it's just acting. So he encouraged me, give me some lessons, call me for an audition, test me, you know, put me in front of the camera. The first movie I, uh, I participated in was The Shadow of Our Culture, you know. Um, it was produced by Young Stars Movie Production, uh, launched in uh, 2019 at QCT Hall here. I participated in that movie for the first time. Then, then I joined the movie production, um, you know. We do meet every Sundays and do rehearsals and train together, you know, and try to wo and try to work on other another movies. That was from 2017. Then we try to make some episodes and make some movies. Then later we can talk about those movies. But this is how I joined. I joined through Mod Lamin Show. He though he he guided me, but I also have other people that inspired me into acting. I was watch. I do watch movies like Nigerian movies and some Gambian movies, but. Then I don't know him, but when I met him, he opened a door for me to join and I, I, I joined. Yes, of course you are, because looking at the way you have your movies, they are so much in connected to Nigerian movies, they are less similar. Okay, but I also want to know this. How does it feel being an actor in the Gambia? Like looking at acting in the Gambia is not something that people are, are going in for it that much. Understand? So you being an actor in the Gambia, how does it feel? Um, Sometimes it feels boring, sometimes it feels disappointing, you know, and uh, because um, we see ourselves as people that, that don't have the time to support our own people, you know. Um, it's only in Gambia you will see actors who will even go to their premieres and walk by foot and go home, you know, because you will call on people, they will not come, you know. But uh, that narrative, can be changed and that's what we as young stars are willing to change you know where we also find out that it's not only the fault of the audience that 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 are watching you yes. but also the fault of the actors that are acting you know actors need to be uh, persistent they need to be um, 
well oriented about their own country you know people that want to watch you or that are willing to watch you need to see themselves in you you have to be that realistic person and you have to be uh, consistent you have to do something that is next to perfect even though it is not that much perfect but do something that people will like that people will follow then they will start following you all right so that's what we are doing but when it comes to the side of the audience it's very sad and disappointing like i said earlier you know um people like gambians prefer supporting others mm. than their own that's, that, is, that, that, is that that is that is that is that's that's the fact yeah. you will post videos on youtube people will hardly go and watch it even though you share them with the link mm. you will share them with the link in fact some good ones will will watch it screenshot it and show you that yes i've watched it some will say okay i will watch it but they will not watch it mm. you will call for the premiere they will not come but they still want to watch it but they will not come mm. and there are other people also that are that sideline themselves all right they are not into anything but they don't want to see people doing something all they will do is if they see you going they said come back you cannot go come and sit with me mm -hmm. that, that is very bad you are not going somebody is going mm -hmm. all right if you cannot follow the person to go try to push the person to go mm -hmm. but don't drag him back to your level and sit with him and said i cannot go you cannot go sit down no allow him to go maybe the narrative will change so that's what we need in the Gambia here. So like I said, it is boring and disappointed, but we are trying to make that narrative because uh, uh, our first launching, the first time we launched a movie as Young Stars Movie Production, we launched two movies at Q City Hall here, and uh, people were, the hall was filled up. And the last movie that we launched in this, 20, uh, uh, in this March 2020 at Penchami Hall, the place was filled up. That was just one movie titled Who to Blame. Right now the movie is, is trading yeah is the movie is like the talk of the nation mm -hmm. is the first Gambian movie to be uploaded at amazon now people can watch it on, uh, at, at amazon mm -hmm. all right so we are trying to change the narrative yeah. Yeah. sure and and you people are really changing the narrative and congratulations for that great achievement you. you know as youths doing this great you know we have so many challenges that we face obstacles that is not only in drama but in almost in any other aspect of life but with determination and dedication i think the sky is not even the limit so um, um, I just want to say once again, congratulations as an actor and with your team for doing a great work, for showing Gambians that yet acting and drama can trend in this country. Do you have a question for him? Oh, yes. Um, um, you did mention in your, in your words that um, the support from the Gambians is lacking. Yes, but if you see the, the, the supportive part is lacking, what are the other alternatives that you have when it comes to the support that you will need from the Gambians? Yes, like I said earlier, um, that is uh, one, the actors need to be real. Some, uh, if people are not f uh, supporting you, first you have to find out why are they not supporting you. Why are they not supporting you? Because you, are, you, you feel like you are doing your best, you are doing everything that you could. Now why are people not following you? You know? So that's what you need to find out. All right. So some of the reasons that I, I, I came to realize is uh, so people are not aware mm -hmm. all right they are not aware of you mm -hmm. how will they support you if they don't know you mm -hmm. you need to people need to know you mm -hmm. okay so as young stars movie production um we have so many friends mm -hmm. all right and then we also try to uh, reach some media houses to be to be known some radio stations mm -hmm. okay and sometimes also around in bruce here we would like to move from door to door mm -hmm. selling or advertising our tickets Right, we move around, going door to door, house to house, telling people about ourselves, giving them our posters, and sold, uh, uh, sell our tickets to them. Some people will say, wow, this is the first time I'm hearing that these people can do. So those people also will try to spread the news. Okay? So when we call for lunching, people were there. And also the movies that we do, we do it based on Gambia. We do it, the costumes, everything that we do is based on, is, is, is based on Gambia, the stories. Okay, we want Gambians to see themselves in us so that they know that yes, these are Gambians, let's support them. They are not Nigerians. Okay, so it's the, 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 other, the other reason that people don't follow Gambian movies because some will, some will be sitting down and think that it's Nigerian movies. So it's just, it's just the branding, you know, Gambian movies. It's just like when you say alkaline battery. Not every battery is alkaline, mm -hmm. but alkaline is very famous. Now people start calling every battery alkaline, alkaline, alkaline. Jumbo. 
if it's Jumbo, if it is Jumbo Jumbo, whether the, the name varies or not. So the, the same thing is here. Like if it anytime some people see movies, they cannot even recognize the face. They say it's Gambian movie because of the dress code. And those dress codes that we do are dress codes of Africans, not Nigerians. Mm. If you check back in the days, that's how Africans dress. And Gambia is in Africa. Mm. So that's how Gambians dress, you know? So we are trying to change that narrative. We are trying to tell people that this is not a Nigerian movie. It's a Gambian movie. Come and find out, uh, come and see what your brothers can do. Mm -hmm. So we show them what we can do. Mm -hmm. They follow us. Mm -hmm. All right. In trying to, to give a proper sensitization to the general public, I believe to be, to be more real in what you do and be a proud Gambian in all your branding. So we'll go for the short break and we'll be right back. Welcome to the Gambia. This is where we call the land of smiling coast. Welcome back from that short commercial and we are right here, right back with the same people. Ibrahim. All right, welcome back. Um, we still continue with um, with our able um, guest, and and as as he just mentioned, right? Um, he is an actor, and then and then um, uh, where we stopped was what are some of the things that they face? Of course, yes. Just to remind Gambians that it's high time we start claiming and respecting what we own. Charity begins at home. You know, acting is not something famous in this country, but this young uh, movie production. Are really doing it big and they are really doing it great if people outside this country are following them why not us i think it's high time we, we start to respect and own what we what we have ibrahim i'll come in there um uh, what you made mention of is very very true and very very clear but i believe actors too should be purely gambian too they should stop imitating the, the, the other parts of the african continent they should try to be pure gambian that we want them to be in order to understand what they are branding themselves to be if you want us to follow you, you should be what we are, not what we, you, we are not. So I believe in trying to get them know that would be very, very good. Sure. And then, okay, Mr. Bar, um, um, you are an actor, and then when acting, normally you have different roles, because I think in your movies, you play different roles depending on the movie. So how flexible are you in taking a particular role given to you? Like, we have certain actors that are only good at doing one thing. Some of the actors, any role you give them, they will play it. Are you the type who is so flexible in taking any responsibility given to you in a movie production? Um, thank you very much. I think um, um, it's not about bragging, you know, but um, young stars movie production, that's how we are trained. You know, like I said, we are not just any, we are just not any movie production like that people already only saw of when there is movie to be shoot or people only saw of when there is program. All right. Since 2017, since the movie was uh, sorry, since the uh, movie production was was formed, all right. Even before then, all right, it was Bruce Willis Press and Drama Club. You know, not yet a movie production. We do meet every Sunday and do rehearsals every Sunday. And if this Sunday we rehearse these other things, another Sunday we rehearse other things. Mm -hmm. And we also make research. It's it's more like a school. Mm -hmm. We also make research. Um, sometimes we'll go and uh, the director will give us assignment to go and search on things that are related to acting. You find out about them, you come and present them. Okay? So it's, it's, we are all almost flexible, like playing, like playing roles. Okay? 
we are we are we are that one we are we are we are we are very good at because we train ourselves every sunday we meet and train together we know each other we know you know how to go with our acting so we are trying to build ourselves without going to school because we don't have any school in the gambia that train acting so we have to train ourselves if we want to be perfect we did so we are doing that every every sunday and every other day individually and in groups yes and also um, um as young people doing acting you know it is it is well confirmed that we have gambians who used to be actors who are normal use their old people for instance do you be in touch with any um gambian a veteran gambian actor do you normally be in touch with any veteran gambian actor as a person as to guiding you or mentoring you of course of course if you know mom demba um he's uh he's the he's a veteran actor in the gambia here mom demba is a is a very good actor in the gambia here and uh, he has been acting for ages all right sometimes we do have him in our rehearsal grounds to come and lecture us not every time but we do call him we do call other people also to come and tell us because there are people that have been in the game before us like that of uh, ibrahima korea he's now a director all right ibrahim is always with us always guiding us always telling us what to do in fact for him it's not us it's not once in a blue moon he always come to guide us you know so our director also is not uh he has been acting for more than six years he has been acting since he was in uh, a junior school you know so he also know so many things about acting you know so it's like we are learning from him and he's also bringing people that he learned from like people of people like mom demba to come and to come and teach us mm -hmm. to come and you know lecture us to come and show us the way to come and guide us so if we have any story to to make we make sure that we put these people into picture they they look at the story and say yes this is a good story if you go with this you are you are making you are, you are making a good one right. yeah. and and i have a final question maybe from there i'll hand you over to my boss and then uh, you continue so um yes um i just love what you said like like as a young actor you love to learn from the old ones just as i know said slowly but surely you will read the dream land so um did um the future is bright um my final question here will be what are some of the challenges that you think drama or acting is facing in this country um that is so much related to the first question uh, the challenges that people are that actors are facing not even the performing act sector are facing is they, they need audience just just last night i was i wrote something on my timeline on facebook uh, that uh, supporting a friend just like the way you support uh, uh, other celebrities that don't even know you exist you know we have people here that support you know clubs football clubs other celebrities that that don't even know they exist but they still support them anytime they post something they go straight and watch it and share it all right print t-shirts and put them put it, put them on now how about your brothers that are with you here mm -hmm. your sisters that are with you here mm -hmm. so trying to help somebody who is progressing is not going to stop you from progressing mm -hmm. all right so to hate the person also who is progressing is not going to stop the person from progressing so what you can do is to lay a hand give the person the support okay we are gambians and we are trying to build a career for ourselves mm -hmm. okay so it's not going to be like today we do it tomorrow we stop it no we are trying to build career for ourselves that's why even entering in our production is not cheap we have to go through so many things before you enter so that when you enter you know that yes so anybody who enter you know that yes this person is serious you will not do all these things you will not pay all this kind of money form here uh, registration fee and, and 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 just throw it away you want to build a career for yourself you come we join together but we need support from gambians we need audience okay mandinka proverb says uh, before giving somebody a fish every day uh, uh, show him how to cut the fish okay but that's not the end of the story if the person cut the fish and now want to sell the fish he want a buyer okay he wants somebody to buy the fish so that he can have the revenue all right so we need that right now our movies uh, we uh, we we started to release our this hutabile movie we put it in flash drive and we will start selling them very soon okay it, though it's in amazon mm -hmm. but we will start selling it very soon and we want gambians to buy it our previous movies are there in in cds people refuse to buy them some claim that they don't have dvds some bought them do but they are still with us but anytime anybody who want, want movies from us you we have our movies that we can sell it to you if you want it in flash drives mm -hmm.
So we want, we, that's the support that we need from Gambians to build ourselves because production is not easy. You have to pay cameramen, you know, and the cameraman also. The cameraman also, sometimes they, they charge you the, the huge amount of money. You bought camera 50,000, you want to cap that 50,000 in one week, it's going, to be, it's going to be difficult. So the production is not easy. So we need revenue, we need support from people. Though we have some supporters, but we need more. We need people to, be, to back us. Okay, um, well, we have heard from the two gentlemen down here. It was an interactive session with um, Mr. Laman Bara and Ibrahim Abod. Do join us next week, same time, same place, and better future production. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and click on that notification bell. Thank you.